Hello. Hope you're having a great uh, Saturday. It's super nice outside. I just got to go for a run um, out in beautiful Boulder. And then I took my dog outside. So just a good day overall. And I finally got a chance to review the Energy Fuels 10K. So uh, the 2018 year got the dock off CDAR. Um, you just put in UUU or Energy Fuels. And um, I just go straight to the MDNA. Um, it was published, I think, the 12th or something. So, yeah, it was good just to get my grasp around. I kind of wanted to zoom in on them because of the 232 situation nearing. Uh, I've listened to a few interviews with both him and Jeff Klenda, and it seems like they know more than they can let on to. Um, so... I guess that's probably true if they know what's coming down the pike and there was one interview where they were like we're not sure what's going on with utilities um which makes me think the government's gonna sell like a price like 50 dollars a pound or something but you know a really good study just came out and it's all over twitter john quakes um talking about what it would take as far as u.s ramping up production to hit the 25 by american tariff or quota that U.S. utilities would have to buy 25% in the U from U.S. production, um, and it looks like absolutely crazy numbers of anywhere from 65 up to 80 dollars a pound uranium, which would make almost any project viable. So, at this point, energy fuels is a very interesting place for a lot of people to look, obviously because it's the, one of the biggest companies in the space, right? So the US has three companies close to production. One is UEC, Uranium Energy Corp, which you'll see they bought um, a portion of this new Reno Creek acquisition. They got it for $5 million from Energy Fuels. And Energy Fuels is trying to ramp up production. So why would they get rid of that? It just seems like that asset is not worth as much as UEC uh, pretends to make it worth. And then there's also um, quite a few moving pieces with energy fuels. So it, it'll be fun just to go over it real quick. And then I'll highlight a few of the important things I see and we'll go from there.